Hey guys, Will here with Media Place, and in this video we're gonna go over our new dashboard layout, as well as some really awesome AI tagging features that are embedded right here inside of Media Place. All right, so right off the bat, you can see that our new dashboard is very intuitive and it allows you to quickly search for images as well as import right here from the homepage. So for example, if I wanna search for something that's inside of my database, all I can do is click inside this search box and let's say I wanna find all of my space images. I type that in and then it brings up all of my tag space images. Really awesome, right? And you can also search from your main library as well that's located right here. So, uh, so maybe I wanna search up all of my animal photos then I can then do that as well, right? So again, this is all available from within the homepage. So again, it's quickly accessible. So you can search up what you're looking for. And it'll quickly find and navigate your files for you. And again, we do have some extra quick links right here. So I can go to my images from here as well. Um, if I go back to the homepage, I can click and click on my video files that I have access to, um, as well as navigating audio, your documents, your fonts, your Lottie files, as well as other miscellaneous files. It's all accessible right here in the main dashboard. Um, and your recent images and recent video clips will also show up in there as well. All right, so now let's talk about what this auto tagging AI feature is inside of Media Place and how it works. So first off, I need to go right here on the top right corner. If you haven't already, you will install AI plugins. So I'll open that up. And you, before you can start using the auto tagging feature or any, any other AI um, features inside of Media Place, you will need to download a small package to utilize this function. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on auto tagging and click on download, right? And then it'll quickly install one of two files. And then once that's um, embedded into your system, you can then utilize the AI auto tagging features. All right, so I've got this installed and now I'm ready to begin. Okay, so for AI auto tagging, there's two ways you can use this, right? So let's go ahead and start with the first way. So if I go to my library and I want to auto tag all of these images I have selected here, right? So this top row and then all the way up to right here, right? I've got them all selected here in pink. And now if I right click on any one of them, you'll see it brings up the option to image auto tagging for your AI features, right? So if I select that, it opens up the image auto tagging box. And then all I need to do is click on start auto tagging. All right, so one thing to note is that this AI model uses around two gigs of RAM. So after a certain amount of time of inactivity, it will automatically turn off the AI tagging plugin, right? It's just to kind of help conserve on your system's RAM. Now, if you want to keep that running, you can then turn this uh, checkbox on and it will always stay on in the background. But if you want to conserve some of that RAM, just go ahead and leave that unchecked. All right. So what I can do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on start auto tagging and it will begin. You'll see the progress bar going across for my image auto tagging. And once it's done, you will be prompted to say auto tagging is completed. So I'll close this out. And so now you can see that if I select that first image, if I go over to my tags here, you'll see architecture, object, nature. So it automatically used AI auto tagging to tag all of these photos. If I come here, you can see it did the same here. Um, animal, it's gray, it's a cat. If I come to the second image here, third image, I should say, landscape, people, canyon, person, stand, right? So anything associated with this image, AI went in and automatically tagged these. So I can go in there and when I'm searching for images, I can quickly find them and narrow down my searches so I can use my productivity even more so, right? All right, so again, it went across and did that. So it's a great way to use AI auto tagging. Now, the other way to do this is if I was here on the homepage, I can say import media. And let's say I wanna select these images here. I can say open, and then it will give me the option. Do I want to use AI image auto tagging on import? Um, so I'll then check that and turn that on. And then I will click on import. So that as it's importing in, it's automatically auto tagging these. So I'll go to my library and you'll see here are the images that I've imported and there are my tags associated with those images. So again, really powerful tools built right into Media Place that make it extremely efficient to organize your images, video clips, your file types and whatever you have to then, so you can then go in and search for and work on the projects that you need to, right? All right, so that is an overview of our new dashboard layout, as well as how to use the AI auto tagging features inside of Media Place. Stay tuned for more tutorials, and as always, keep creating.